We're going to look at some of the differences between a typical cervical, thoracic, and lumbar vertebrae. This is a cervical vertebrae. We notice that it's a small vertebrae overall, but the body is quite small, and it's also quite narrow um, anterior to posterior. The body has these little processes sticking up, and these are actually called uncinate processes. We only see these on cervicals. The transverse process is very short, very stubby, and there's a hole running through the transverse process. This is called the transverse foramen. And the transverse foramen allows for vertebral arteries and veins to run up and down alongside the spine, going to the brain and providing blood for the brain. You'll notice that the spinous process sticks straight back, um, but in this case it actually is split into two. We call this a bifid spinous process. And we see a bifid spinous process between the second and sixth cervical vertebrae. And since there's seven, the easiest way to think of this is, except for the first and last one, each one of these has a bifid spinous process. Now we're going to take a look at a thoracic vertebrae. And some of the unique features we see about that, you notice that the body is actually just the opposite of the cervical. It actually is very elongated anterior to posterior. It's more of a heart shape. The transverse process are um, definitely more noticeable. And the spinous process is sticking straight down. So what this does is, since we have a um, kyphosis or a posterior curvature in the thoracics, it keeps the bones from sticking straight out of your skin. Um, another thing, we know that thoracics all have ribs, so the rib is actually going to wrap around. It's going to touch this transverse process, and then the head of the rib is actually going to articulate right here on the spine. So there's a small articulation here, and the head of the rib is going to articulate right there. Now we're going to look at a lumbar vertebrae. The lumbar vertebrae, we notice that the body is uh, more circular, but it's also quite a bit bigger. And this is because we've got the whole rest of the body weight resting on top of it. Again, our transverse processes are um, not very dramatic. And the spinous process is going to stick straight out again.